Never Ape an Ape Man is the seventh episode of the first season of Scooby-Doo, Where Are You? And I liked parts of this. I didn't care for another part of it. But there's nothing about it that I didn't like as such. It's just certain things didn't appeal to me. And the thing that really appealed to me is they're on a film set. Daphne's relative is directing a film and that part of it I loved being a film fan. I love anything like that. But I also particularly love seeing film sets and TV studios and things in animation, in cartoons. I just think it's so fun. And I feel like they could have made it look a little bit more like a film set. But they also did utilize various things. I don't want to give away too much about the things they utilized because it might give away how certain things were done. But I think they made a, a good use of that concept. And that really appealed to me. The bit that didn't really appeal to me is the ape aspect because I don't find apes to be monsters. I know that th there are certain primates that are very iconic, thinking King Kong. And therefore, obviously, this kind of character can be seen as a monster. But for me personally, when it comes to Scooby-Doo particularly, I like my monsters to be monsters. I like them to be very mysterious and ghostly or, you know, vampiric, something that isn't just an animal for all intents and purposes. And that meant that that part of it didn't really appeal to me. That's not to say that I wouldn't be terrified in this situation in real life. I'm sure I would be. But within the context of the episode, I think while it worked well, it didn't really appeal to me that much. However, because the film set aspect did really appeal to me, it was enough to keep me engaged and to keep me hooked until the end. And as I said, they really did use the whole film set aspect quite well. I can't really explain what. Well, I will in a moment with a spoiler warning explain one bit that I thought worked really well. But I thought it was it was pretty decent. It's probably never going to be my favourite episode. And I don't remember this one from my childhood at all. That doesn't mean that it's unmemorable, but it didn't trigger any specific memories for me. But nevertheless, Scooby-Doo is still obviously a very nostalgic show. I think the pacing was very good. The narrative developed very well. It wasn't, it didn't feel as busy as some episodes. There are some episodes that feel like a lot happens in a short space of time. This one felt a little slower, but not necessarily a bad thing. Just a, just an observation rather than a criticism. And ultimately, as much as the ape aspect didn't appeal to me, I thought it was a pretty good narrative. So very briefly, as a spoiler, the one aspect or one of the aspects of the film set that I think worked very well. So this is a spoiler um, for some things that happen. But on several occasions, it focuses on masks. And actually, there's one bit of animation where we have three or four masks um, in a row and they look kind of like drooping because obviously they're not on anybody's face and they I can't remember exactly what they were one of them looked kind of like a clown and I just thought their masks are creepy there's something about masks that are really unnerving both in terms of the face and also not knowing what's behind them and I rather like that quite a lot so it may not be my favourite episode overall, and I may not care for the ape aspect. But that being said, Never Ape an Ape Man is still a pretty decent episode of Scooby-Doo, Where Are You?